This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Eddie Hearn has said via IFL TV that Vladimir Klitschko wants to come back. In fact, he texts Anthony Joshua, says that he wants to come back and he feels like he could beat everybody in the division right now. Now, when Eddie Hearn said this, I was expecting a momentary pause and then a laugh to say, ah, not really. But he didn't. And so is it real? Is it legit? I don't know. I mean, maybe this is Eddie Hearn's way of stoking the fire for a wild card for Anthony Joshua, April 13th. And that's a fight that many people would love to see again because the first one was an absolute classic, no doubt about it. But if Vladimir Klitschko is serious, listen, it's been on the rumor mill for quite some time. He's always in the gym. He's keeping himself in condition and all this kind of thing. So if he did come back, can he beat everybody in the division? Now, I don't know about everybody, but he could certainly give everybody a lot of trouble. He really can. Um, because we know that the likes of, say, for example, He's never been WBC heavyweight champion. So if he was to fight Deontay Wilder, can he beat Deontay Wilder? In my opinion, hell yes. Even though the last time that Vladimir Klitschko fought was against Anthony Joshua, Vladimir Klitschko can come back, get straight in the ring with Wilder, beat him up and then knock him out. Easy work. I mean, he's already dropped Deontay Wilder with a body shot in sparring and he knocked Deontay Wilder out on two occasions in sparring as well as. So, yes, Vladimir Klitschko knows exactly how to beat Deontay Wilder. So, yeah, he could certainly come back and do that. Could he come back and beat Anthony Joshua? It's a tough one because he's already had his opportunity as such and he lost. Um, he took his foot off the gas. A lot of that was because Vitaly Klitschko, his brother, told him to take your time with it. Maybe that was the reason why he couldn't get Joshua out of there. Who knows? But will inactivity play a part? Well, Vladimir Klitschko is the kind of guy that keeps himself in shape. He's always in the gym, okay? He didn't do what Tarson Fury done, which was went on a mad binge for two and a half years, okay? And then come back and destroyed Wilder the way that Tarson Fury did. Yes, Tarson Fury should be the WBC heavyweight champion right now. Wilder is the paper champion. But could he come back and take on, say, a rematch with Tarson Fury? That would be an interesting one. That's a fight that I believe should have happened when when it was originally scheduled to, but for whatever reason, it didn't happen. We all know the various reasons as to why. Um, would he come back and take on Joshua straight away? Maybe, maybe. But I think if he wants to be champion and get a title that he'd never had before, WBC, that would be easy work for Vladimir Klitschko. Wilder cannot land on Klitschko. He's not skilled enough to set him up at all. Not even close to it. Um, could he come back and beat the likes of Jaron Miller? Maybe, maybe. Um, could you come back and beat the likes of Shannon Briggs? I mean, that's a fight a lot of people um, have been looking for. I would say yes. Yes, he could certainly beat Shannon Briggs at this stage. Uh, Shannon Briggs has been even more inactive, right? Um, and of course, he's aging quite a bit now as well. Um, but would he come back? Is he serious? Who knows? Who really knows if he's serious? Maybe he's doing the whole Lennox Lewis thing because Lennox Lewis for a long, long time kept saying that, you know, he goes to bed every night he has a dream about coming back and becoming world champion. Then he spends the rest of the next day talking himself out of it. So maybe this is that kind of thing. Maybe he's finding it difficult to let go. There's a big pull there to come back. Um, because I know maybe he's got like a lot of free time now. And he looks at the heavyweight landscape now and says, you know what, there's nobody really there that I feel that I cannot beat. So anyway, that would be an interesting one. Maybe he is the wild card for April 13th. Or maybe it's just Eddie Hearn being Eddie Hearn. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, you drop your thoughts about it. Click that thumbs up and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.